The pills make me wanna shout. Kick your heels up and shout. Throw your hands up and shout. Throw your head back and shout. Come on now, the pills are making me Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Hey, hey. Hey, just found this Bill song. We're going to be talking with Buffalo Bill, current linebacker Arthur Motes, coming on the show to talk some Bills football with us as we get ready to start previewing the NFL season. It's June. We're talking football. Duh. Yeah, we got uh, Kevin Cover, C.J. Manuel, that quarterback situation. Where Arthur Motes fits in uh, the linebacker uh, situation right now, uh, they just drafted Kiko Alonso, so uh, where's he going to fit? The Bills are in, in the state of another transition. Doug Marone comes in. You know, replacing Chan Gailey, uh, EJ Manuel drafted in that first round, kind of a controversial first round draft pick for Buffalo, uh, but that's their guy. They're going to go with Manuel, and I think he's going to be the guy come uh, come opening day. But uh, we're going to talk about all that and much more here with Arthur Motes. Yeah, the AFC East. I mean, how's it going to look? You got the Jets, uh, not knowing who what quarterback's going to play. You got Mark Sanchez versus Geno Smith there. Geno Smith uh, said to be struggling in camp. Um, you got the Dolphins, who second year Ryan Tannehill. Uh, they just signed Mike Wallace. So what can they do? The Patriots are kind of struggling with losing Wes Welker and Gronkowski having back surgery. But they're the Patriots, so they're always going to be in the mix and at the top of that division. The Patriots are the class of this division. But if ever there were a time for Buffalo to make that kind of a comeback, to because they, they haven't made the playoffs since uh, 1999, guys. So... If ever there was a time to get things rolling back again, it's it's now, and they need to take advantage of that. They have a passionate fan base. They fill that 80,000-seat stadium up. They want to see a winner. My Also, my favorite uniforms in all the league. So. And they uh, also drafted Robert Woods and Marquise Goodwin, two wide receivers that should be explosive for them. They've really struggled there, only having Stevie Johnson as their real go-to threat. They've had Donald Jones. Um, that's not had really been working out for him. So uh, hopefully Robert Woods and Marquise Goodwin can add some spark and uh, give him something to root for on offense. Well, time to talk some Buffalo Bills football with our man, a reoccurring guest, Arthur Motes. All right, guys, here we are in mid-June. We are talking NFL football, and who better to do that with than Buffalo Bills linebacker Arthur Motes. Arthur, welcome to the show. How are things going up in Buffalo, my man? Hey, man, thanks for having me on, man. Things are going great up there in Buffalo, man. It's been, you know, just a, a wonderful offseason and, and definitely eventful minicamp for us. Yes, OTAs going on, of course, now minicamp. I mean, do you guys as players look forward to that kind of stuff, or is it kind of like, uh, you know, us as, as normal citizens going back to their d- day jobs on a Monday morning? I mean, is it something you guys look forward to, or is it kind of extraneous? I mean, I- I feel like, you know, here, I know I can only speak for the best Buffalo Bills, but, you know, I feel like we definitely enjoy coming back for OTAs and minicamp just because, I mean, during the season, you only get 16 weeks, you know, not counting count the playoffs of the uh, preseason to play the game. So anytime you get to actually go out there on the field and play football, I mean, you definitely enjoy it. So I, I would definitely say up in Buffalo, we definitely, you know, get a kick out of it. So I know it's early on, but where are you fitting in in the rotation with the uh, linebackers? I mean, we, we've been rotating uh, all across of us. I mean, I've been with the ones, I've been in with the two. So, I mean, I, I feel like right now the coaches, they're, they're basically trying to, you know, mix and match different, uh, different groups and stuff to see how guys feel with other people and who steps up and is a leader and things like that. But I feel like, you know, when we get the pads on the training camp, that's definitely going to, you know, say a lot. New coach and Doug Marone, new quarterback, EJ Manuel, drafted this year. How, how excited are you guys going forward? Because we got a whole new regime, whole new situation, and uh, I bet you guys are just excited. Well, yeah, man, we're definitely excited up there in Buffalo, man. The, the biggest thing is, you know, with, with the new regime, it just was a fresh start for everyone. You know, we got we we had you know a couple of bad years, and now it's like, all right, that that's over with, it's done with, it's no more revisiting that. We have Coach Brown, who's you know been great since they since the day he's come to the facility, and you know the staff that he's put together, and even just the players that he's brought in. You know, it, it's definitely going to look like a lot of success for us, and we just have to keep working hard this offseason season and keep working hard come training camp so that way we can make that happen. Tell us about E.J. Manuel, of course, first-run draft pick this year. Uh, have you had a chance to pick him off in practice yet and uh, give him a little, hey, rookie, you know, wel- welcome to the NFL type of deal? I mean, I, I feel like, you know, the, the, the welcome to the NFL part will definitely come during training camp because it'll be a lot faster. But, I mean, just, you know, I know E.J. because he's from my hometown. You know, we're both Virginia Beach boys. But, you know, I feel like he, he's done a really good job as far as, you know, not – I guess trying to do too much right now. You know, he's coming in, he's understanding, trying to learn the playbook, trying to learn the guys around him and stuff like that. And he's doing what he's asked to do right now. You know, I feel like he's definitely going to have a lot of success this year, and I'm really excited to see how he plays in the preseason. Oh, we have two fan questions from our Facebook page. Uh, Jason Tower, longtime Buffalo Bills fan here in Kansas City, Missouri. Um, he wants to know what the biggest difference is you've seen so far between Chan Gailey and Doug Marone. I have to show the energy level, you know. I know with Chan, he was more laid back, reserved. It was like, you know, this is what we're going to do. 
you just go out there and do it. Whereas with Maroon, man, he's he's always excited about the game. He's always talking about you know the history of the game and just to take that pride in everything you do from you know the time you walk in the building, whether you're in the weight room, whether you're in the uh, the cafeteria, meetings, or on the practice floor. He's always like you know you're representing the, the show, you know you're representing the Buffalo Bills, and take pride in that. So those are like the biggest things I've noticed. Uh, his last question is: uh, He also wants to know what kind of leader Drayton Florence was, and how much his presence is going to be missed uh, last year. How much his presence was missed last year? Man, I felt like you know uh, Drayton. He was a really good leader, man. You know, just when you get a guy like that who's been in the league for a while, he's had success, and he's played on a couple of different teams, man. Just the, the experience that he brings in, and just the knowledge of being a professional. You know, those are some of the bigger things that I noticed that were, were, were definitely missed. You know, just as far as telling, uh, helping um, the younger guys understand how to watch film how to practice, how to take care of themselves during the offseason, like things like that were huge. Uh, Arthur, let's talk about your division. The AFC East, always one of the toughest divisions in football. Oh, yeah. there's, there's some teams in, in a state of transition. I mean, the Jets are kind of transitioning right now, always tough defense uh-huh. under uh, Rex Ryan. Uh, but the Dolphins are kind of transitioning, you know, second-year quarterback. The Patriots have lost some talent. They're they're typically the class of the division. But do you guys feel like, even though you're kind of starting over, that this is a team that you could get right back in there and challenge for this division and, and you know, get oh, Buffalo back to I, the winning ways? Yeah, I definitely feel that. I mean, and I feel like, you know, if you talk to any other player on our team, you, they're going to say the exact same thing. I mean, we're, we're excited about you know, what we're saying right now. We know, you know how good that we can be this year. And I feel like, you know, as long as we continue to work on ourselves, and continue to get better. Everything else to take care of itself. I mean, of course, you see, you know, the other guys in the uh, in the division. You know, you see what Miami's doing. You see what New England's doing. But you really can't focus on that as a player. We have to focus on, you know, ourselves, so that we're, we're getting as that as, as uh, good as we can uh, be. What have uh, your rookie draft picks, uh, Robert Woods and Marquise Goodwin, really brought to the offense? Have they brought explosion and the uh, extra wide receivers you need? Great making ability. <laughs> Yes, man. Those those guys can fly. That's what I'm definitely gonna say. Those guys can fly, and you know, just to see, you know, Robert especially, man, he's already polished. You know, uh, playing at USC and things. You know, he, he's already seen some of the top tier competition. So his transition, it seems, you know, like it isn't even anymore. You know, he's coming in right now and he's making some plays. He's just kind of like, wow. And I know with Marquise, man, just every time you see him, it's like man, he's running, you know, past somebody. He's like, man, I haven't seen anybody that's been able to keep up with him yet. Arthur, got to talk uniforms. We're kind of uniform geeks here on the show here at the Outsiders Podcast. Okay. The Buffalo Bills have actually my favorite current set of NFL uniforms. You guys have finally found a hybrid between the new uh, era Buffalo Bills and the O.J. Simpson Bills uniforms. Thank Which you. ones are your favorites? Do you like the all-whites? Love those uniforms. Okay, well, see, you do like the all-whites for me. I like the white top with the blue bottoms. I know we, uh, we first wore them uh, this past season versus the Houston Texans, and that was my favorite color just because – I know for me, I, I don't like wearing all of just one color, but I felt like the white top with the blue bottom, it just it popped for some reason, and that's my favorite. How's the quarterback competition going up there with uh, Kevin Cobb versus E.J. Manuel? Man, I feel like those guys are pushing each other to the max, and that's a great name because everybody knows, you know, the more competition you have, the, the cream's going to rise to the crop, and that's ultimately going to make, you know, a successful as a team. And with both of those guys, they have the ability to go in there and play. They both have the smarts. You know, with Kevin Cobb, he's had, he has a lot more experience. But with EJ, he has more athletic ability. So, I mean, it's pros and cons to both of them. But I'm really excited to see, you know, once we get the pads on and the preseason starts, how they perform in game situations. Arthur, you're talking about one of the most passionate fan bases up there in Buffalo, playing at Ralph Wilson Stadium, one of the largest stadiums in the league. The, the Buffalo Bill, every single NFL team has been to the playoffs since the Buffalo Bills last did, which was the Music City Miracle game is the last time the Bills have been in the playoffs. You've been in the league a few years now. Arthur, you're ready to go to the playoffs. I know it. It's coming. Tell us tell us about that and how you know how, how excited you are to get a team and get into the playoffs and have a chance at a, a championship. I mean, we're, we're, that's all we're focused on right now because – the thing is this, I feel like in Buffalo, we have too much talent right now with the coaching staff and the players included. There's just no reason why we shouldn't be successful this year. And I feel that, you know, that is always lingering, you know, because it's been that long. It's, we have, I, I want to say we have the longest current drought of not making it to the playoffs. So, I mean, we definitely want to get that monkey off our back. But I feel like all that starts now, you know, during the all season. You can't wait until a training camp gets you to wait until the season gets you to say, oh, let's make the playoffs. Let's put in that work now. I mean, I feel like me and all my guys on the team right now putting in that work during these six weeks of, you know, off time, quote unquote. I mean, we're making sure that we're fine tuning everything that we need to do so that way once the season starts, we can accomplish our goals.
Well, Arthur, I tell you what, it has been a pleasure having you on today. Can't wait to see the Bills coming up this year. Can't wait for some NFL football. We'll talk to you again. Let's uh, let's catch up. Maybe you're on training camp. Give us a little report. I know it's going to be a little cooler up there since you guys are near Canada for the training camp. So you guys got that going for you. Let's catch up then, Arthur. Have a great off season and have a great couple months before training camp. We'll catch up soon, my man. All right. Sounds good, man. Thank you. And go Bills. All right. Take care, Arthur. All right. Big thank you to Arthur Motes for checking in from Buffalo Bills minicamp. Of course, that's going on around the NFL. Good stuff from him and uh, very optimistic about the team. That he is. Uh, they have a good shot in the AFC East this year, maybe come in second uh, behind the uh, obvious strong New England Patriots. Huge thanks to Jason Tower uh, for asking the fan questions. Their whole family, huge Buffalo Bills fans. I was friends with his little brother Grant uh, growing up. Uh, great Buffalo Bills fans there and great questions always keep the fan questions coming we always want to hear them and get your answers right here on the Outsiders podcast from the current players Arthur Motes Buffalo Bills linebacker hey it's it's June we're talking football uh other people might be watching baseball or out in the sun uh you know maybe having bonfires and and barbecues this summer nope not us we're talking football because the season starts now guys we're down in the dark pits of our studio while the rest of you are out enjoying the sun bringing these great interviews to you arthur Motes can't get it anywhere else but here outsiders podcast